Listen to me very carefully. Corruption is a big problem in the Philippines. Like almost every country near us, and most of the countries near us over here are much worse, just so you know. The corruption in India and China is much worse. Thailand. Pero no hay nada con problemas de corruption en Filipinas. But that is not a real problem. It's a big problem, but it's not the biggest problem. You listen to what I'm about to say right here. The truth is, corruption in government is just a symptom of the real problem. Corruption in government is a symptom of a corrupt culture. The people in the government came out of the culture. You know what about? Last time I checked, we elect our officials in the Philippines. Kita makaboto. Dagong tao maghonghong, magreklamo ka ba yun sa corruption dito sa government. Pero diha sa panahon sa election. Hmm. So kung corrupt siya sa pagatag, o ikaw mo dawat, unsa man ka, corrupt kihapon. Grabe ka yung corruption sa government. Tagpilay mong yatag na kopar sa kong boto. 2,000 na lang, muha ito ko ni Oy! Pastor Mike's been in the pitan for a little while, hasn't he? You know what, Bob? We can complain about corruption in government if we want, but the corruption in government is because of us. Kung wala ay tao mo balik sa ilang boto, dili sila mo balik sa mga boto. You know what? By the way, if you sell your vote, dapat ka maulaw sa mga gawalingon. A corrupt government is a result of a corrupt culture. So, kung ang government, dali ang tinuwa problema, unsa ang tinuwa problema sa tapitan. Are you ready? I'm going to give it to you here. That was all introduction. Here's the problem with tapitan city and any other wicked place in the world. But we live in tapitan. Kina ang tinuwa problema sa tapitan. You ready? I'm going to speak we like our culture. The big problem with the beat then is this. We don't think we need God. Wala ta nagatoo nga gikinahanglan na to ang tabang sa Dios. Most people in the pitan are like the foolish man in Jesus parable. They're trying to build the house of their own life without God's guidance or help. 